Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel, Nintendo Collecting 101. I have been duped, 9 or 10 other buyers have been duped, the same seller named the GT 550 and there are links in the underbar to this, has sold 10 fake E3 controllers for well over $5,000. I bought mine in 2011, I've had my doubts for a few months that it might be fake, I sent it to Finn Gamer, who has a real one, so thank you very much to Finn Gamer for proving this, that mine's finally a fake, that we know for sure, and a lot of these pictures are actually courtesy of Finn Gamer. So here on the left, you see the real controller, on the right, the fake, they look pretty similar, but when he actually took pictures of the logo, look at the bottom of the base of that N. You can definitely see it change, and you can see it's off-centered. Additionally though, the feel of my insignia is coarse, or sharp and his feels much more smooth. So that's another tell. The other thing that he noticed was, what about the size? I'm not sure if the size is even exactly the same. So after looking at that for a while, he decided to pull out a ruler, he measured it, his is 18 millimeters, but mine, the fake one, is actually 19 millimeters, both in height and in width. So it's definitely a fake, there's no question. If you bought one, I apologize. Please go to that underbar link and post on the forum. Here is my video back in 2011 when I received the controller. I made a $400 buy and trade deal. I gave him money and I gave him some for a trade. So we know this guy's name. We know where he lives in the United States in Colorado. I'm not going to say his real name. He did make a post. He did come back and he actually posted. And he's trying to claim that he didn't know that they were fake or something like that. But he bought from a minimum of seven different sellers, so he claims. Originally, he claimed to me that he found four of them from a Nintendo employee. I bought the best condition one from him. He sold off the others, but he did keep one for himself, which I was led to believe is five. Then he found a sixth, and then eventually a seventh, and an eighth. He sold those for anywhere between $300 and $1,000. And one week, he'd be prepared to sell it for $1,000, but the next week, he'd be prepared to sell it for $500. No one can find these things at all anywhere. No one can. So I asked him after he sold his 7th or his 8th, we're getting suspicious, this doesn't really make sense, can you divulge to me, what is your method of finding these, because we all don't really believe it right now. He said he was using a URL copy and paste method, where he takes an image URL, pastes it into Google search images, and that comes up with little links in forums and things like that. So then I said, okay, that's it within the realm of possibility, but where is your evidence of these other threads where's your evidence of the forums or where you found the controllers give me something and he kept delaying and delaying and he wouldn't really touch on the issue he eventually said his computer was in another state then he said his computer was in a storage facility so i said you can use the internet again from any computer why don't you just do the same thing copy and paste your urls show me some of your evidence he sent me one photo to a photo bucket picture which was no proof whatsoever so we know he's done that basically he also sold one of these controllers as a gold top and a gold bottom which never exists no one would trade that out why would someone do that it's supposed to be gold on top and black on the bottom so it was like he ran out of supplies and we know five of these five of the ten he sold are fakes we know it for certainty they took pictures they documented them so we know five of them are identically fake and we know he bought from a minimum, I'm saying, of six or seven or eight different sellers. There is no way he did not know that these were fake or he was at least in on it. He is guilty. There is no way he is innocent with all the evidence. So we are building a case against him. I am personally leading it on N64 Forever. The forum is not responsible for this whatsoever, though. They are not responsible for any transactions. But I would like to thank the N64 Forever Forum for being helpful to me and being helpful to us to kind of seek this guy out. So yes, this sucks, it's terrible, but it's good that the collecting community can bound together, combine their powers, and basically get together and do this. And Nintendo Age is actually being helpful in this as well. So the GT 550, we are coming after you for our money back, probably around $5,000. We might even take this to the police, because we should. So yes, it's a sad day, but it's good that we worked together, and hopefully we can get this guy and find him out, and oh jeez, this pisses me off. Alright, so thank you for watching, feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, and even though it's a sad day, remember, we will always game on.